Gottlieb's tastes good like a beer should. You said it. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. <laughs> Try a frosty cold glass of Bavarian right away. Can't you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. No matter how you take your hooch, we've got something ice cold and on tap. Now, serving it to you straight and unfiltered, here are Craig, Scott, and Dan. Oh, mm, yes. yes. <laughs> Keeping it unfiltered for y'alls. Yes. As they say, welcome in, everybody, the Unfiltered Gentlemen. I am Greg. That is Scott. Hey, y'all. And that's Dan. For sure. <laughs> so, so gangster. That's yes. right. Uh, thank you for listening. Thanks for joining. Thanks for spreading the word about the show and telling all your friends and all that good stuff. We got quite the show for you. Um, we got some World Cup drinks to drink while nice. watching the World Cup. Oh, woo woo! So. Yeah, got a lot of crotch talk to get to. Yeah. Oh, my oh man, God. there are some great a grievances. It's a wide crotch we got going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Yasiel Puig size crap. Oh, oh man! Shit. Yeah, if anybody hasn't seen the body issue, yep. then, get your peanuts got ready. Those big ass peanuts right yeah. there in front. Uh, what else? We got a couple of good beers to talk about. Some uh, booze news to get to, and Nicole from Beauty and Beer is back. Right on. Right. She's uh, making us sound smarter and probably gonna make us hungry as hell. But again, <laughs> no kidding. What's, shit. what's next? Like tacos this time? I know. Yeah. I had the world's best nachos. Like, oh my god, stop! <laughs> oh man, you are killing us. Uh, burp word of the week. For those of you who are new to the show, we have to have a burp word every week. That way, um, Scott doesn't throw up on the microphone. Mm-hmm. It almost happened last week. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus yeah. go, go back to Batch 101. I think he did throw up on the oh microphone. Oh, my God. Does it still smell over there? Yeah, it's still a little bit wet. Yeah, I, I imagine. It's only oh been a week. God. It's supposed to mic. Yeah. Uh, the burp word is boysenberry. Oh. <laughs> In honor of Dan. Right on. Uh, boysenberry is our burp word of the week. I accept. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to hashtag show us your beers when you're uh, posting beer pics on social medias. Tag us while you're at it. And uh, rate and subscribe on Apple Podcasts slash iTunes or anywhere you get your podcast. That way we're always being downloaded to your uh, downloading mechanism. Yes. If you will. So... Uh, you know, before we get to our beer of the week, which I'm very excited about, I love this beer of the week. It's like my favorite beer of the last month or two. It's wow. amazing. Uh, we have to we have to do something sad first. Oh no, <laughs> no, no, no! It's a dark day mm. in this studio's history. We had our first pour out. Oh god, I'm crying. Please. I'm not laughing. I'm crying. <laughs> he is crying. There are, there are tears. <laughs> The microphone is not waterproof. No. We learned when yeah. Scott threw up last week. <laughs> That's right. Uh, we Got were executed. We were meant to have shower beer by Solark Brewing out here in Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. Uh, one of my favorite, hard to find, in fact, I've only found it one time, beers. It is so good. It's got. It's made with coffee and tea. It's a creamy blonde ale. Oh, man. It's delicious. Like, when you want a shower beer, like, this is your shower beer. You won. Yeah. Well, I did something stupid, which was, oh, it's in a can. It can last forever. Uh, um, it's about a year old. Bastard. Yeah. That I, I mean, I got it like a year ago. <laughs> Who knows how old it was when I got it. It and was young, it, man. Yeah. We went to pour it tonight, and there was mm-hmm. a lot of chunks in it. And I thought, you know what? I've had chunks in beer. It'll be fine. Until mm-hmm. I shone a flashlight into the can, and I'm pretty sure the can was starting to rust and degrade a little. So uh, oh, man. I felt it best we not drink it. But That's too bad. It, it does deserve a, uh, a well-wish and a send-off. Yep. <laughs> it didn't deserve this. It was a delicious beer. See Chris Farley just walking away right now <laughs> just to that music right now. <laughs> like Tommy Boy. Uh, and not to cheap plug anybody, but if you would like to hear a full review on the beer, uh, before it went bad on the Beer Harmony show, we did get to do a uh, a review of Solark's shower beer. It's delicious. Mm. Hopefully they make more. I think it was a one-time thing. Solark is weird. They're like this tiny little nano brew in L.A., and they don't even have their own spot. They you know use other spots to brew, and at least they were at the time. And um, they just do like one-off releases and stuff, so... Uh, yeah, it's sad. Only one I've had from them. So. Oh, God. Why couldn't it have been me? <laughs> That's what I kept asking. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't it have been you? <laughs> Thanks, God. <laughs> Not the beer. <laughs> oh, man. Well, at least we're all uh, <sighs> agreement on that. Yeah, so we had to have a last minute replacement. Please in this misery. Yep. But I, I think we made a good substitution. I think so we did. Uh, yeah. 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 So let's let's brighten up the mood a bit. Folks. Grab your libations. All right. Pals. It's time for beer of the week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend, and I'll say, I think I'll have myself a 
beer. This is great beer. It is. Yeah. Dan sure hates it. <laughs> no, it's almost gone. Yeah. Uh, today we are now instead of Solark, we are drinking instead of what? Instead of Solark. Oh yeah. Uh, we are drinking Cigar <laughs> City Brewing's Invasion mm. Tropical Pale Ale. Nice. Mm. Very um, good beer. We've had the High Lie IPA on here before. Delicious. Uh, without Dan, we had the Oak Thai Lai, which was also delicious. This is their Pale Ale, which I'm so glad that Cigar City is finally on their way out to California. I think it's Stone that's distributing them out here. I could have that wrong. Uh, a little bit about Invasion, Tropical Pale Ale, 5%, 36 IBUs. It's got a 3.93 on Beer Advocate and a 3.64 on Untapped. I don't know what's wrong with those Untapped people. This is a fucking delicious Pale Ale yes, it is. that I can crush yeah. all day long. No kidding. Uh, from the brewery, it says the people of Tampa Bay have fallen prey to a pirate invasion annually for well over a hundred years. Yuckaneers. <laughs> After more than a century of falling to repeal the seafaring, seafaring raiders in their anachronistic wooden ships, and despite access to modern sea, they not know I'm drunk when I read this. <laughs> Land and air arsenals that ostensibly should make short work of wind-powered vessels equipped with not but cast iron cannons and raging scurvy. It occurred, good lord. It occurred to the folks of Cigar City Brewing that if you can't beat them, start saying iron matey. We have brewed Invasion Pale Ale, a citrusy, tropical, and low alcohol sessionable beer brewed for those long days of marauding, pillaging, and pirating. Cheers. Oh, man. Man. I first found this uh, maybe a month ago, maybe slightly mm. more. This has become my favorite beer of like the last month and a half, two months, whenever I found it. It's delicious. Yes, this is great. I, I love it. Oh, I think man. It, it's got great. It's like, I, was really, I, was, I was a little afraid of it because this tropical pale ale. I was like, oh, oh my God. They, yeah. didn't, they didn't pull like a ballast point, did they? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so I, yeah, I, I, I tried good. it with a little bit of caution, even though I love everything that I've had from Cigar City. And good. Uh, good lord, it is not over fruity. Yeah. It is definitely tropical, but in like a hoppy kind of way. Right. A little bit of citrus in there. I just crush these things. I put them down so fast. <laughs> I was uh, barbecuing last week. I had a six pack. That six pack <laughs> did not last long. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't That's know what great. you guys. Lots of citrus up front. A lot of uh, tropical fruit up front. And it does. It's like like Dan likes it. It finishes clean and quick. That's what yeah. She said. Exa- yeah. Um, it, it doesn't linger too bad. It just get, hits that tongue. Tastes good and goes away. Correct, and uh, I think yeah, right off the bat, that, that oh, that's yeah. what jumps out at you that's is great. the tropical citrus kind of flavor mm-hmm. on it. So, I mean, yeah, it's 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 real easy to put down. Let me tell you, oh, it's yeah. gone. Considering the bad news we heard earlier, yeah. it's kind of like fucking somebody you met at your significant <laughs> other's funeral. Wow, <laughs> yeah, what was that guy's name yeah. Chaz <laughs> from uh, <laughs> Wedding Crashers? Ma. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Uh, yeah, this beer to me screams summertime. Yes, yeah. like this is in fact. <laughs> there you go. Scream summertime. Uh, it is just bright and clean and easy to drink and cools me down on a hot day and makes it not so funky in my underpants. Mm. Yeah, you if don't you, get that swamp ass. No, it, it definitely dries <laughs> things up and cools it all down. No bowl soup. Yeah, that is not something I want for dinner. <laughs> not any bowl soup. So uh, if you guys have had this, let us know. And if you have a pale ale that we should be drinking for summer, please let us know. Uh, tweet at us at Unfiltered Gents, or all the other social medias are the Unfiltered Gentlemen. All right. <laughs> I hate to be like Debbie Downer, Uh-oh. Bear, or Bad News, or anything, but uh, we got some shit to get to. Oh, okay. Have a grievance Let's to get share? It. Let's get it's to time it. for a crotch talk. Let me get out the good stuff first. Yeah. Uh, last weekend, <laughs> went up to Paso Robles, as, a, as I'm apt to do Boom. every summer. This is the uh, first trip of this summer, and did some wakeboarding. Wakeboarding always means drinking on the water. I brought out some good beers with me, had some Firestones. I had uh, the Ennegrin Fig Mountain collaboration with me, the American Ryan Heitzkebat, and uh, some other good beers on the water. After getting off the water, went down the hill to Earth and Fire Brewing. Our friends over there was hanging out with Nolan, seeing what was up. They have their anniversary party coming up this weekend in Paso. So if you guys are in the area, please stop by. Lots of beer, lots of food, lots of bands. They're uh, tapping open. Tapping, is that proper? They're cracking open? I don't know. Some barrel-aid shit just for the anniversary. Cracking open. Cracking open. saying that one. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I unfortunately cannot make it, so I've asked him to put some aside oh. for me. Oh, wow. Because so, you got uh, it like that, huh? Yeah. I hope, well, until he runs out and needs to sell it. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Get up there by Greg who? So, <laughs> no. Uh, and if you want to hear all about Earth and Fire, they I believe it was Batch 12. 
Uh, it was one of our. It was actually our first interview that we did with any of the the brewers on this show. So go back and listen, and uh, please go check them out. They they really do good stuff. We just had them on uh, Beer Harmony and love everything Nolan's doing. That was a really good cheap plug. Love everything <laughs> that Nolan's doing. He, he does a really good job. Dan would love uh, the Hip Hop Anonymous. Oh shit! The double IPA, just hoppy as fuck. Yeah, hey, that's a double entendre. I can yeah. get with. <laughs> yeah, really good. Uh, also on the way back, stopped by uh, Barrel Works, Firestone Barrel Works in Buellton, and. Had some, uh, I think it's called Mother's Milk, which is like an imperial milk stout. Delicious. Mm. Had uh, their new sour, which is the undercurrent. A little sweet and fruity for my taste. Like I really like their aggressive and the creaky ones. This is a little fruitier than the others. Still good, though. Had a couple others. Picked up a couple bottles. Uh, picked up a uh, Sticky Monkey 2018, which just came out. Ooh. Very excited to uh, crack that one open. Crack it open. Um, yeah. So that was the good news uh, of last weekend. And then comes Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Yeah. So you went to church. It's about as bad. Uh oh. I there seems to be this <laughs> running theme with my crotch jocks the last few months. Uh, baby shower. Baby shower. Oh, oh god. my wow. god. I've been being dragged to these goddamn baby showers by my Your lady friends. Friend. Are like fucking like crazy. Oh, yeah, I know. They well, the stuff. worst part is they're not pulling out. Oh yeah, Jesus. That's true. Right, yeah, learn how to pull out. No that's right. Facials, yo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Learn from <laughs> Peter North. <laughs> uh, before it's always been the ladies' friend, lady friends' friends, which is you know super. Can't wait to go. Mm. Uh, this time it was my best friend who's pregnant, and she texts me, and she knows the fights it has caused between me and the lady friend. <laughs> and she texts me like a month before. She's like, "Set this date aside. We're having a party." I was like, "You're having a party. You can't drink. You're fat and pregnant." <laughs> and she's like, "Well, it's a party with a slight baby theme." I was like, "Oh, oh so it's sad. a baby shower." And she's like, yes, but you still have to come. And I was like, God, I was so mad. So mad. And to her credit, it was very little baby and a whole lot of alcohol. The only bad part was there was a shit ton of just nasty macro beer. <laughs> I, I haven't had that many Heineken since college. Wow. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Man. Lots of Heinies. Whew. Lots of Heinies. I forgot what Heineken tasted like. I, yeah, and I still can't remember because it was pretty watery. Been a minute. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that was awful. But I did, I did get uh, pretty hydrated, and and to her credit, there was no stupid baby games. Like the last one we went to with the lady friend, they played some yeah. fucked up trivia game. And uh, how well do you know the mom? I don't. Yep, I'm over here getting drunk. You guys fuck right off. That's right. Uh, at least this time there's no stupid games. It was well, just like to be the father. Yeah, <laughs> we all got drunk except for her. And uh, played some cornhole and did, you know ate a bunch of food and, and drank a bunch there of There you drinks. go. So it wasn't the way. It was more like a, a Could party. Have been right. Yeah. yeah, it was a party for a fat person, basically. Correct. Uh, not the worst one I've been to. That's Still, the way it should be. Yeah. Still think you got to stop inviting the dudes to the baby showers. Right. Please. They did their job. Yeah. I talked about this uh, last time I bitched about a baby shower. My buddy who took all his guy friends to the bowling alley and got hammered. That's the way to go. Please. Please let the guys go get hammered at a bowling alley or strip club (laughs) or anything not with a baby shower. Mm -hmm. He did all the work. He planted the seed. Now let him have his (laughs) time off. Yeah. He did the hard part. That's right. Let's let him go have his fun with his friends. On the seventh through, you know, 400th day, he rested. (laughs) So he, he did all the hard work. So... Yeah, that was that. That was uh, whew, another fucking baby shower. No more. Please, no more. Please start pulling out, people. Yep, yep. I will buy you condoms if it means I don't have to go to your baby showers. <laughs> um, oh, and, okay, some good news. I did brew over the weekend. Brewed oh, a new beer. Brewed, right on. Brewed a Kolsch. Ooh, yeah, cool. Just in time for summer. So oh, uh, I'm hoping that we'll be ready to drink by my birthday at the end of July. So, uh, oh, right really? A little birthday Kolsch if everything works out nicely. Nice. Uh, I've never done a Kolsch or any sort of Pilsner slash lager, so we'll see how this goes, because I don't have refrigeration, <laughs> and you're supposed to refrigerate uh, the fermentation stuff while it's uh, finishing up. So, uh, fingers crossed, it doesn't just like sweat its balls off and <laughs> turn to some skunky ale or something. Oh, man. <laughs> we'll find out. I won't pour it out. Hey. Yeah. And then, Beer science. Yeah, exactly. Uh, lastly, I want to mention, I was at uh, Trader Joe's today picking up some delicious beer we were talking about before the show, and... Uh, one of the things I picked up was they, they had a 2018 Sticky Monkey, and I thought, well, I can't pass this up because it's only nine ninety nine. It's actually cheaper at Trader Joe's than the brewery. Wow. So I bought another one. There you go. Gotta I, do it. Yeah, I always like to have two of each of their releases. That way I can have one now and then kind of like sell it and try it in a couple of years. And so I was checking out, and the girl who was ringing me up was uh, pretty cute. And right on. You guys ever do that thing where like no matter how taken or in a relationship or just whatever you are, like <laughs> if it's a hot girl at a checkout center, you're like, 
hey, how you do it? Like all of a sudden you, be, oh, yeah. you start yeah. flirting, you become Joey Triviani. And yeah. like, how you do it? Yeah. yeah. And uh, so she's like, oh, she looks at the you know the box because the Firestone specialties are always in the box. She's like, oh, this is an interesting looking box. I was like, oh yeah, you know, have you, have you had it? It's really good. And she's like, no, no. I'm thinking like, man, this chick's hot and whatever. And she's like, yeah, I just turned 21 last week. Oh, like, oh you are a child. Good day. Yeah. <laughs> good day. So, uh, yeah, then I felt like a creep after that. Yeah, it'll happen. I hate when that happens. Yeah. It's the worst. Yeah. Oh, God. I just turned 21. Okay. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. I think I was in high school when you were born. Or yeah. Yeah, me too. Not quite. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 totally. A rough life. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, that was it. That's Any other grievances? <laughs> no. I, I was just going to say that's funny. Like, I, I think that happened to me too one time, but I was like 20. And uh, I, I was working somewhere, and it shall re- remain nameless. It's very embarrassing. <laughs> McDonald's. Something like that. And uh, <laughs> I, I had to check ID for something. Oh. And this chick was, like, really hot. You know, and everyone thought she was really hot. Sure. So I'm not alone on this. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she whipped out her ID, and the, it had, like, you know, that red bar that says that she's not 21 oh, yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. But this was 06, and it said age 21 in 2010. Oh, I was like, no, shit. yeah, you should have seen the look on my face. I was like, well, at least I was within like now, like, you know, if yeah. I was, you know, I'm 34 now, she'd be what, 30 or 29 something at least. Like, yeah. yeah something. So it's within, uh, you know, the, the question but, is, was she at the time 17 or 18? She was like probably 16. Oh, wow. yeah, it was wow. crazy. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, geez. but you think I felt bad. I mean, I, I was still technically kind of a kid, you know, so yeah. when we closed up, the guy was like, you know, my manager. Really nice guy, you know, but he was like, hey, did you get a look at that one? I was like, yeah, age 21 in 2010. He's like, no. Got to go. Yeah. He's yeah. like, no. He's like, I got to go wash my eyeballs off. Yeah. Like, it's like- <laughs> Dude, I, I did that once. I was with a, a friend that we all know, and I started checking out this girl from behind. I was like, God, look at that. Ass. Yeah. This, by the way, ladies who are listening, I'm so sorry. This is how guys think. We're such Correct. assholes. We are total, but uh, checking out this girl, she's so hot. She's got a uh, great ass, <laughs> as Al would say. And then she turns around. I was like, oh, God, she is 16 tops. Oh, oh, no. I hate that. That's the worst. That's why I hate picking up uh, girls from grammar school. (laughs) Oh, my God. It's so tempting. I'm sure. Mostly the boys, but sometimes the girls, too. Scott just lost his job. Oh, there it is. No more more tales from Uber. (laughs) That's it. I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. Like Uber would listen. Yeah, right. They're like thanks for the free advertisements. Yeah. So I do have a little bit, but it ends up being a happy story. Oh, okay. Um, Yeah. like a week or two ago, the wife comes in and announces we're going to a wedding uh, on the thirtieth. Uh, That's the bad news. The good news is the wedding is with the group that drinks a lot. So oh, I'm looking forward to good. it. Now. And it, cool. If the listeners don't know the wife of yours, not a drinker. No, not at all. Quite the designated driver. Oh, absolutely. Always. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you she lucked out, the, and she's not pregnant. She just doesn't drink. She better not be. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best kind of deal, right there. Yeah. She doesn't yeah. drink. She. Yeah. She's the perfect, the the best designated driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great wingman. Yes, indeed. No kidding. Yeah. Oh God, any other grievances? Oh to... well, I guess just the uh, the NBA thing. Oh, okay. The stupid awards oh, happened cool. yesterday. Uh, now yes. it is. Yeah, well, we were we were watching a little bit of that. Yeah, which is really stupid. I think the it only is. thing I was going to say is um, they need to stop it. Only because uh, yeah, I get like you know the Oscars and stuff like that. You get a bunch of actors together, and there's a lot of actors, and they can feel good about you know so and so doing well in a role or whatever. Sure. Like I don't want my basketball players cheering on another asshole for getting an MVP. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You know what I mean, like no it, shit. You think nobody 80, else cares? You yeah. think in '89 the Bad Boy Pistons were going to clap for Michael Jordan <laughs> winning the MVP award? You know, what I mean? like you know they, they wouldn't. Yeah, they probably would have booed or something. <laughs> yeah, you, th- you think Rodman's like, man, I sure hope Tim Duncan gets that rebounding award <laughs> yeah, this year. All right. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. They're all in competition yeah. with each other. All they that matters. Yeah. First of all, the bad boys would never show up. That's right. If yeah. they did show up, they'd get up and walk out. That's be, right. And they'd show up hammers. They'd just oh, stumble yeah. out is what they would do. That's right. Start throwing beer bottles. And you had something head. I just thought of that, I mean, we probably can't decide on this on the show, but maybe we can Twitter it. For some of us that don't get that excited about the World Cup, uh huh. I'm thinking we should think of a, a word, you know, some kind of a, a word that we drink to. While watching the World Cup, oh, like a drinking game, kind a of drinking thing? game kind of, yeah. I don't know what what's a popular word in in soccer. I don't know. It's not goal because they never fucking <laughs> score. <laughs> it's like you only get one drink. A I game. want more yeah. than two drinks. Yeah. God. So uh, I mean, those of you that know soccer, give us a word that's yeah. Popular. And if it's soccer, goal, you better have a hundred and twenty minute IPA. It's seventeen uh, percent. Something maybe. other than sleepy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, uh, maybe we could foul. maybe use as a drinking yeah. game. Foul or yeah. something. It's always falling all over the place. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 
Fucking sports, man. <laughs> man, they're great. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah the uh, the NBA awards, I was going to say, I was, I was watching, I was just thinking like, oh, they took everything that I hate about like the Grammys and, and the Oscars and all that stuff, <laughs> and they took everything that I hate about Shaq and Chuck and their stupid post-game show, and they just ass-rammed them together. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, hey, you know how you hate these two things? Well, now they just had a little, you know, red-headed stepchild. <laughs> I know, right? Enjoy this. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I they hate got... award shows. And now. it's so late now. I mean, there was people complaining that, you know, we just had the, our draft this year, you know, for all the teams. Yeah, it was like a so week ago. we got brand We're new rookies, even. and we still don't even know who the rookie of the year is right. from last season. It was Weird. like, come on, let's go, dude. From last yeah. season, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Like, now we know, but, you know, whatever. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. No one cares. Oh, I That's thought right. you meant from last year. That like, oh yeah, correct. Yeah, the the season that just not ended. this one, but the one before. I thought yeah. you were talking about that because yeah. we, we don't know that either. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Know. should have been Kuzma. Whatever. I don't even know who the MVP was. <laughs> yeah. Year. Oh wait, uh, yes, I do. James no. Harden. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's uh, back to back. Yeah, thanks for killing it. Well deserved. Yeah, he's the, him. Yeah, he's uh, yeah. yeah. Anywho, let's lighten things up. Yeah, please. Uh, Knott's Berry. This is a update from last show. I think it was last show. We were talking about you know <laughs> yes. does Knott's Berry Farm have beer? And then yes. you were very excited that if they did have beer, <laughs> hopefully hey. it'd be boysenberry. That's right. Well, that's why they make jam, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it. at underscore little says on Instagram happened to be at Knott's Berry Farm this week. And as soon as I saw that picture, I immediately commented and said, what's the beer situation? <laughs> and she responded and said that they have a boysenberry beer oh. and that it's really good. It's light and fruity. Bang. Yeah. There you there. go. It's like, man, it's got Dan's name all over all it. Over Season it. ticket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? We are going to hang out with Snoopy. <laughs> I am. Yeah. Those of you not from California, Knott's Berry Farm is uh, a theme park out here. In fact, I think it's like the country's oldest or second. Got to be, yeah. I guess behind like Coney Island or something. Oh, yeah. Probably. It's but, just like uh, local here. Yeah. The Knott family. Yeah. yeah, it's it's not a franchise or whatever. So, um, All right, there's that. Uh, cool. Speaking of the World Cup, hmm. I wanted to talk about this briefly. On the uh, the Booze League podcast, the Booze Cast, Sandro, the sidekick, was talking about uh, the World Cup. He gave a full report that I was so appreciative of because I was having a hard time sleeping that night. <laughs> and after his soccer report, he gave a, a list, something like top 10 beers to drink while watching the, the World Cup. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And I thought, you know, we should, we, should, uh, we should get in line. We should do something similar. And so I, you guys, some of you think of this list. I have assembled uh, the top five things to drink while watching the World Cup, and feel okay. free, I'll, I'll get through my five, and you guys have uh, anything to add? I'm 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 all ears. Okay. Uh, number five, Gypsy Tears. <laughs> number four, Chloroform. Mm, yeah. <laughs> number three, Gasoline. Okay. Number two, Bleach. And the number one thing to watch if or to drink if you're watching the goddamn World Cup, <laughs> Rat Poison. Yeah. Rat Poison. Yeah. Did I miss anything? Wow. Um. Yeah. I'll, I don't think so. Maybe a can of Raid. Yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah just, maybe just, yeah. whole can of whole can and chase it down. Shit. Yeah, chase down that rat poison yeah. with some yeah. cockroach killer or something. Like some banaka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ladies, <laughs> don't <laughs> dumber it out the wrong way. You know, hey, ladies, I'm gonna something die crawl down your throat and die. No, bitch, I killed it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's already dead. I oh god, I just cannot stand the World Cup. I just I would rather watch hockey, golf, tennis. <laughs> Uh, well, I was going to say, dry. probably like the, the only two drinks you could really have watching that shit is probably a michelada or a mimosa because it's on right at the butt crack of dawn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, like their yeah. last game is at 11. Like I barely have enough time. Like if I'm going to lunch and like it's on TV. Yeah. Because like, you know, to me, like I welcome it because at lunch, like what else am I going to watch darts right now? Or, you know, what's going Maybe. on? And like Rachel Nichols probably, which is pretty good. I, guess, I would but. watch that over. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I watch right. reruns of Bonanza. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to me, like, it's just nice to see, like, some, like, live sports happening. So, but that's the last game. And if I'm going to lunch at, like, one, the game's over. Yeah. It's like, really? Like, we're just getting started over here. <laughs> or or imagine if it was something you actually wanted to watch <laughs> uh, right. on the weekend. You are not an early riser. No. As we have learned. <laughs> yeah. We've learned because you're late to every beer festival we go Everything. to. Everything. Yeah. If Everything. it starts at 11, Dan will be there at 1230. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> so imagine if you actually, like if it was NBA Finals, and you're like, I'm going to watch this. And you're like, oh, it starts at 6 in the morning. Fuck that. Yeah. It's, oh my God. There's nothing good about the World Cup except right. for when it's over. That's <laughs> the best part. So uh, thank you, World Cup. Please go away now. <laughs> uh, all right. We have uh, Nicole, like I said, from Beauty and Beer. She's back. We got a bullpen beer to get to. I'm starting to get thirsty again. 
and uh, a lot of booze news. So let's uh, let's check in with Nicole and see what's going on up in NorCal. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nicole from Beauty and Beer, and I'm excited to share with you my recent visit to the third annual Invitational. And the Invitational is hosted by Track 7 Brewery in Natomas. This was my first time going to this event. I was so excited. Uh, My friend Rachel and I went, and she got to meet some of my craft beer friends. She's never been to a beer event, so it was pretty exciting. When we first got there, we got there pretty early, but everything's really organized. They scan your ticket, they give you your tasting cup, you get your bracelet, and then you just kind of wait for the doors to open. This is a pretty big brewery, so they have a nice front area with picnic tables. And so the three food trucks that were there were slightly skewed. Masa, Guiseria, and pop-up truck. And so I got the pulled pork sandwich from the pop-up truck with the kettle chips. And as you guys know, I've been just eating pulled pork sandwiches like there's no tomorrow. (laughs) Once they opened the doors, I went ahead and went to my first brewery, which was Flatland. Uh, Flatland Brewery is a brewery in Elk Grove, and this was their first time at the Invitational, so that's pretty exciting. So the way it works is that uh, Track 7 invites breweries to come out to this uh, Invitational, and then they compete for like best IPA and other categories. Categories. There was about 40 breweries. Some of the breweries that I tried, I tried a lot of them. Um, Alvarado Street, I tried the Mai Tai PA, which was a tropical IPA. Alpha Acid Brewery, I tried their Milky Milk and the Funky Bunch of Coconuts. Coconut Milkshake IPA, I really like that as well. Urban Roots, which was a new brewery in Sacramento. I tried their beer, it's called Church Hug, and um, that's a Northeastern IPA. I mean, I just love the event. It was really organized. Everyone was happy. They had, you know, you could sit down. They had water stations. Um, Rachel and I ended up eating midway through. Uh, I ended up getting a quesadilla. And she got some street tacos and then we went back at it. At the end, um, they had the ceremony and everyone got to cheer everyone on. They even had a home brewers competition. We didn't get to try the home brewers beers, but they did announce the winners. Overall, fun event, really organized. If you want to hear more about it, read about it. I'm going to be posting videos and things. You could check that out on my website at beautyandbeer.com. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting a lot more photos there as well. As always, thank you so much and cheers. Cheers indeed. Uh, I don't know what it is, but every time she does a report on beer, I just end up super hungry. (laughs) Hungry and thirsty. Yeah, pulled pork and quesadillas. There's a a trend going here. (laughs) There really is. Uh, That sounds like a lot of fun, though. I enjoy me some track seven beers they do some good stuff have not been to the brewery yet it's up in norcal so oh one of these days uh if you guys want more from beauty and maybe be- go to a baby shower up there someday <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> can't wait yeah. uh, hey you know if somebody had a baby shower at a brewery i might not be quite as angry <laughs> Dang. you know i might get over it a little bit more so uh beauty and beer dot com as well as beauty and beer on instagram all sp- spelled out all spelling out all spelled out. So uh, go follow her for more and check out the website for some uh, some good beer articles and, and all that good stuff. Uh, all right. Old timey word of the week. This week is hedge whore. <laughs> hedge whore. Hedge whore. Uh, that Sonic's girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Sonica, the hedge whore. Uh, apparently, it's a low beggarly prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> A hedge whore. <laughs> wow. Yes. I like that one. A uh, prostitute who bilks the the bagnios and body houses by disposing of her favors on the wayside under a hedge. Gross. Yeah, it sounds really bad. It probably just means like she's a dirty whore or something. Yeah, but... for sure. I mean, she's going to fuck outside in a bush. <laughs> yeah, right? In a hedge. Yeah. Yeah, she's a hedge whore. Faux show. Yeah. So, she's a hoe for show. She's a hoe for show. Yeah, she is. Damn. A hedge hoe. <laughs> uh, I just I saw that and I was cracking up. I, was I like, love oh, it. We got to go with that. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, on the opposite side of things, definitely not a hedge hoe. No one could blame you for bed swerving. It's time for Beer Babe of the Week. Oh, wow. 
I'm showing the fellas. Her name is Kristen, and you can find her on the Instagrams at the Mallow with Sprinkles, like Marshmallow, mm. the Mallow <laughs> with Sprinkles, all one word. Roast uh, the Mallow. Roast me. Yeah. <laughs> She's drinking a super sap in this picture. She has had so many uh, treehouse brewings on her Instagram that I'm wildly jealous. Um, she's got a lot of good beer and uh, looks good while drinking it. I mean, she's got the hookup with that, man. Yeah, apparently. You know Maybe she wants to do like a little trade. We we take some treehouse out here. Sure. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I want that Julius or, or any of them, really. So uh, make sure you go follow her at the Mallow with Sprinkles. Sprinkles. All right, fellas. Should we, uh, should we call to the pen? Let's do it. I think it's to bring in the backup. He calls to the bullpen for beer. Ah, uh, yes, he does. Our bullpen beer this week comes to us from Port Brewing in San Diego, where I will be this weekend. <laughs> oh, shit. Doing some important beer research. Of course. Uh, Port Brewing's 12th anniversary double IPA. Oh. Yes. <laughs> this baby is 10.5%. Oof. 100 IBUs. Oh, wow. That's delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Has a 4.16 on Beer Advocate and a 404. Of course. On Untapped. Clearly doing well. From Port, they say a hot monster of a beer brewed in San Diego County. We know this is hardly original, but we love hops as much as you do, so let's party. This oozes hop oils, aromas, and flavors. We hope it's a worthy addition to the riches that is the Port Brewing family of beers. We hope you look forward to this annual release as much as we do. Dan's going to look forward to this from now on. Short and sweet description, too. Like, <laughs> you didn't have to go through all the pirates and everything. Right? <laughs> you know? I know. That's... I'm glad I got to this one. After yeah, I've very already quick. had a few. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Imagine doing it the other way around. Jeez. Mm-hmm. It was bad enough the first time. Very, uh, very uh, roasty finish I get on this one. And, uh, man, I don't know. I, I, for me, like... Sometimes I get in the mood for for a beer. I really like to taste the alcohol, and you can definitely. It's a little it. warm. You can She's taste it. He's a little warm. <laughs> uh, a lot of pine on the nose. I'm like, feeling a little warm too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like sticking your face into a pine forest a little bit mm-hmm. when you smell it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, definitely roasty on that finish. Good call on that. Mm-hmm. Very delicious. Very delicious. Very yeah, malty. Yeah, it's got that uh, that quality that you look for in a double IPA where it's right. a little thicker in the mouthfeel. You know, kind of sits on your tongue, yes. lets that hop resin kind of build a little bit. Correct. Uh, unlike the last one that finishes super quick and super clean, uh, this one kind of hangs and lingers and yeah, you lets got, you know, like, this bitch is 10.5% and 100 IBUs. Yeah, chew on this <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chew on this pine tar over That's here. That's right. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm digging this. And uh, who's driving afterwards? Fuck. Yeah. Ten and a half percent, people. Woo. Double Uber. digits. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. getting the new Uber, new Uber mobile. Got yes. it covered. Mm-hmm. Beep, beep. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's move on to some booze news. Extra, extra. Drink all about it. It's time for booze news. It is indeed. Uh, Lupin Distortion number 10 is out. Mm. I have yet to see it, um, but I'm a little afraid of it. They've huh? taken a turn. They've gone a completely different direction with this one. What? Still the same base beer, Okay. Um, but they're describing it as fl- flavors of mango creamsicle, peach ring, and ruby grapefruit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> now, from everything I've read, it is not full of adjunct and fruit. It's just from the hops. Okay. Which I hope, but the way they describe it makes me think like a 40-year-old would want to drink this. Correct. Mm. You know, and, and I'll say this. Like, I kind of trust all their uh, revolving uh, IPA so far. Like, mm-hmm. they've been really good. Right. So I can't see that they would totally take a fucking, you know, 180 on all of us all of a sudden. Like, hey, now we fucked it up. Right. And made it real sweet and fruity right. and shit. You know how much you liked it? Well, not anymore. Right. I, I'm guessing those are all just hints. Hopefully. Right. Hopefully just, yeah, just notes of and hints of and, Correct. and that kind of stuff. Otherwise, yikes. Yep. Um, all right. Jean-Claude Van Damme Uh-oh. sends a cease and desist letter to Craft House <laughs> Brewery. Uh, Craft House is in Las Vegas, Nevada. They produce an annual release named Jean-Claude. This name has caught the attention of the action star Jean-Claude Van Damme <laughs> and his attorney in Belgium who sent the brewery a cease and desist letter. Jean-Claude, Belgian Golden Strong Ale, has been brewed since 2014 and it will now receive a new name. Uh, the beer originally named Jean-Claude was done so uh, in honor of the Craft House Brewery's Brewer's Traveling Van, which they named Jean-Claude Dam Van. 
<laughs> this is a shitty van that broke down. <laughs> Jesus. The brewers spent a year traveling the United States visiting <laughs> breweries along the way. The van was notorious for breaking down, hence the use of dam as an expletive. Then the brewery became a resting place for the beer traveling van and took on a personality of its own. The beer has received a cult like following with the anticipation of its once a year release. Uh, this is the, C- the co-owner of Craft House. says, I'm actually flattered that our beer has the attention of Jean-Claude Van Damme's attorney. I wish JCVD himself enjoy a <laughs> glass of this beautiful beer. Uh, this is Wind- Windy Forest of Craft House Brewery. I understand his attorney needs to protect his image. Uh, Craft House has complied what with... What image? <laughs> Blood sport. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Complied to all demands put forth by Jean-Claude Van Damme's attorney, including removing the logo from social media. The beer's new name is... Not that Jean Claude. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> you know, I was going to say they should have named it uh, JCDV. Oh, there you go. You know what I mean? Or they should have just like, called it Rob Van Dam or something like that. <laughs> oh, shit. I know, right? <laughs> Rob Dan Van. Yeah, something. F you, Jean Claude. Yeah, uh, yeah. Jean Claude has to remember he hasn't been anything lately. Yeah, because well, he should be impressed. I yeah. Mean, hey, well, hey, let me tell you something. I was just thinking that too, but I also thought. He's kind of been out of the public eye, and it seems like he tries to make money where he can with you know shows and all kinds of shit. Where he's mm. still, he's still trying to be in the eye, but he obviously he isn't. So I mean, if you're right. trying to make money off of his name, quote unquote, he's gonna come after you and get I, that money. I Apparently guess. so. You know what I mean? He would have been smarter to like try and partner with them and maybe get like a cut of that check it's instead true. of just like stop it all together. Right. Oh well, that's true. So what we learned here is Jean Claude is not fun. Apparently I know. Not. Yeah. Jean-Claude No Fun. That's his new name. That's too bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, Stone Brewing, oh, this is so good, has screwed up an entire batch of the Enjoy by 70418. Oh, shit. <laughs> so uh, the Stone out here in Escondido in California, uh, you know, they brewed all the uh, unfiltered 70418 for out here, but the Richmond Brewery out on the East Coast uh, also brewed a batch to distribute on that side, obviously mm-hmm. cheaper if they're not shipping across the country. Well, uh, the Richmond Brewery accidentally filtered the unfiltered IPA oh. as they were packaging it. Oops. And so there's a whole batch of filtered, unfiltered IPA that is only on the East Coast. Eh. And so it has a sticker on the box. If you're looking for it, there's a sticker on the box that says, like, hey, we accidentally filtered this unfiltered IPA. So is that what know. it says? Yeah, it does. And oh, they apologize man. for it. Um, I hit up Beer Girl. It's the Beer Girl, which you can follow on instagram at it's the beer girl and she says she has a can oh yeah oh, and shit. so i have some cans of the right stuff and we're gonna do a little beer swap and i'm gonna get a can oh, of the nice. wrong stuff yeah so we can do a little cool. beer science. beer science yeah i'm looking forward to see like the difference yeah. between, you know now we can really tell like do we like it unfiltered or filtered so good on her yeah so yeah. uh we'll we'll get that hopefully going very soon and speaking of the richmond location of stone uh, they re- released a new beer. It's a double IPA, and it's called Fear Moves Lions. Fear Moves Lions with a period in between. And I was like, what a weird fucking name. Correct. So apparently, this is so cool. There's this new app. It's like Google Maps, but it's called What Three Words, and the number three. What Three Words. And basically what it does is it breaks down the entire globe, the, the map, into three by three uh, squares. And each square has three names. And this way you could type into the map the name of whatever, you know, like uh, fear, whatever it was, <laughs> fear moves lines. Yeah. I was like, where did it go on my paper? <laughs> I, and if that's a location, which this is, it'll take you right to that square. Instead of like sometimes you put in an address and it takes you to like the alley behind the oh, address. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or like my work office, it takes right. you to the Chick-fil-A out front. Like it's it's really <laughs> retarded. And so this will take you right to the spot, or at least that three by three square on the map. And so Fear Moves Lions is the square that's right in the center of the Richmond Brewery. Oh. And so they named the beer after that. So I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then because yeah. of that, I learned what the app was. I went and looked it up. It's a badass app if you're trying to give someone directions. Like if I wanted to tell Dan, like, get to my front door, and my front door's name was Fear Moves Lions, he could just type that in. And instead of having to deal with like, oh, cause, you know, I'm a little off the street and trying to figure out which house is which, like it'll take you right to that spot. Oh, man. So it's actually really wow. cool. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And everybody knows about this app because of Stone. So, uh, but yeah, go check it out. What Three Words is the app. And, what uh, Three Words. Keep your eyes peeled for Fear Moves Lions, a double IPA. Oh, what else? Oh, Bear Bottle Beer is a brewery up in uh, the San Francisco area. 
after the Warriors won the championship, they released a <laughs> hazy IPA oh, shit. called LeBron's Tears. Oh, oh, oh. Talk about hazy. Yeah, hmm. LeBron's Tears. Probably salty. <laughs> Uh, the University of South Florida is renaming the Sun Dome to the Yingling Center. Yingling has bought the naming rights, which I find interesting that a school would attach themselves to Yingling, who is uh, very political. And and they're very open about their support for the current regime. Oh. Which, uh, whether you've, you're with that direction or not, is not the question. I'm just surprised a school would want to associate yeah, themselves with no someone kidding. who is so open about that no matter which way that that brewery was facing wow. so uh we'll see how well that goes over Beavertown Brewery we we're just talking about uh this kind of thing last week on the show Beavertown Brewery sells a minority stake in their brewery to Heineken but people are are speculating there's deals were not uh, disclosed people are speculating it is a uh, 49% to Heineken and mm. this uh reeks of Lagunitas Oh, yeah. Heineken comes oh. in, they buy half, yeah, and they come in a couple years later and buy another. Oh half. man, yeah. Um, See, and that's what we we're talking about last week too, right? Is it still craft? Yeah, and, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So, and it's interesting because um, they Beavertown said they wanted to do this so they could expand their production and they they wanted to build a new uh, tap room and all that stuff. It's like, yes, but don't you think you'll piss off a lot of people by doing that? But hey, like we said last week. Uh, Ballast Point selling more than ever. Yeah. Even though we're like, you know, the real beer fans hate them more than ever. I'm telling you, man. Oh, yeah. It's all a conspiracy. <laughs> it's all the man. That's right. It's all the Don't man. Don't buy into it. <laughs> yes. Don't uh, believe the hype. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe the fruit. <laughs> Amazon Prime is now delivering wine and beer in Texas. I'm moving. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently they'll deliver uh, the booze in one to two hours, and wow. all you have to do is show That's ID. A long time and, to wait. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you have to show ID and and sign for it when they show up. But uh, that's that's pretty good. What kind of sucks? What if like um, what if you're trying to underage drink? Just curious. Then Amazon Prime is not the way to go. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think anybody in this room has that issue, right? <laughs> But uh, well, I was just thinking, like, what are they gonna? You waste our time, you jerk. It'd right. <laughs> be funny if some kids ordered it. Yeah. At that point, like, if it was Sky, like, fuck it, just take it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, yeah, I don't care. I made it all the way out here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> show me your mom's ID. Yeah. I'll be fine. Show me your mom's ID. So how do so, your mom? Show me something, your mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and finally, in booze news, Pabst is suing mm. Miller. Uh-oh. Oh shit. Yeah. Over- Miller's getting sued by everybody. <laughs> Uh, Get in line, baby. Yeah, over some contract brewing issues. Apparently, Miller does like most of the brewing for Pabst and all their brands, PBR okay. and everything else, Yeah, which is interesting. Now, Miller is scaling back a little bit because their sales are slumping, Uh-oh. so they don't... It's too much production capacity for them. And uh, Pabst is like, well, hey, we got a contract with you. You need to be making this much. And Miller's like, hey, we just can't make that much anymore. And so now they're going to Uh-oh. court. Miller asked for it to be thrown out, but they're in Milwaukee. And a judge said, nope, we're going to court. Oh, boy. beer is important in Milwaukee. That's right. We got, <laughs> we got kidding. nothing else. Like, oh, no, we're not tossing this out. We're talking yeah. beer. We're all coming in. Yes. Perhaps they go find the female employees and slap them around. <laughs> oh, shit. What? PBR man. Oh PBR. You gotta, oh, oh, have to bitch around. Oh, oh God. put your yeah. wife beaters on. Yeah. <laughs> Surprised PBR isn't like centered out of Arkansas or something <laughs> instead of Milwaukee. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh man, man, this beer is good and it is hoppy and strong. Now yeah. let's talk a little bit about hops. <laughs> yeah, let's talk. Yeah, and it's strong. It's. Uh, I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm feeling. Am I awake right now? <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the hops we've got. <laughs> oh, we got yeah. lots of 100 IBUs of hops. Yeah. Um, all right. I think that's everything. Yeah, it's so good. I don't think I want to do the burp word. Yeah, no, don't no, don't ruin no, it. No. Don't ruin it. Just enjoy mm. and savor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's quite good all stuff. right. Next time. Yeah. Sorry, guys. And when you've had something that strong, you can't. it's kind of like yeah. trusting a fart. You don't want to do it. Right. I know everybody looks forward to my burp word. Oh, I'm hey, sure not. After last week. week, you could take the whole year off, I think. <laughs> That was unbelievable. <laughs> you're done. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, You're on vacation. I'm still recuperating. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet. I'm still yeah. recovering. Trying to find your spleen yeah, again. Yeah, I'm in therapy right now. <laughs> yeah, physical therapy. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Keep sharing uh, the word about us with your friends. Tell them to listen in and drink along. 
find us on the social medias at the unfiltered gentleman except for uh, twitter at unfiltered gents please 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 drunk dial us hey it's summertime everybody's getting drunk in the oh, summer yeah. hey we come want, on kids yeah we want your drunk dial it's the thing to do yes 805-538-BEER-2337 put us in your phone book yeah let your parents dial it for you yeah that's fine come on <laughs> yeah totally yeah uh, that young chick at tj's <laughs> yeah have your parents dial oh yeah. yeah hey she was 21 <laughs> um so yeah TheUnfilteredGentleman.com is where you can find us. We're on all the podcast apps, including the brand new Google Podcast app that just came out last week. So if uh, you're a user of that, we are on the Google Podcast app. Check us out. There is a direct link at TheUnfilteredGentleman.com slash listen if you need that. I think that's everything. Uh, next, Oh, next week. I almost forgot. I have an interview with Shelter Distilling up in Mammoth, California. Mm. I did a while back. Oh, wow. Uh, we drank a lot of distilled spirits I had a few of the beers uh, Jason is the former head brewer of Mammoth Brewing and now is the head distiller slash brewer there as well as Matt who's uh, one of the business partners so uh, really good Jason is so nerdy about beer it's it's insane it's so cool so makes for good pod yeah he's uh, he's responsible for many of everyone's favorites Mammoth Brewing's uh, like Double Nut he's responsible for and so uh, it's good stuff so listen oh. to that next week that's Batch 103, but in the meantime, make sure you all are staying hydrated out there. It's hot. Gotta stay hydrated. Yeah. Yes. And on that note, good night, everybody. Good night.